In this video, I'm just going to show you how to get that beautiful rich skin tone in Photoshop using just one adjustment layer. So I'm going to apply this technique on two images. The first one is going to be on a light skin model. The second one is going to be on a dark skin model. Before we start, if you're new on this channel, my name is Eustace and I just want to say thank you guys for subscribing to this channel. We are now over a thousand subscribers. Thank you for watching. Thank you for liking. Thank you for commenting. You guys are amazing. I really appreciate that. So let's do this. So we are going to start with this photo. So I'm going to go down here on this circle and then I'm going to select solid color adjustment. I'm going to set the blue value to one, the green value to 47, the red value to 255, and then I'm going to click OK. So I'm going to reduce the fill percentage here to let's say 15 percent and then I'm going to go to blending option here and then I'm going to select add light. So on this same solid color I'm going to double click here. So it's going to take us into layer style. So what I want here I want to remove the effect from the shadows. So I'm going to go to underline layer and then this triangle so I'll drag it from the shadows go into the highlights. So let's say I'll put it let's say 50 but I want the transition to be smooth so I'm going to break this triangle. I'm going to hold out on the keyboard and then I'll drag this other part of the triangle. I'll drag it to the other side. I'll put it let's say 120. 120 is fine and then I'm going to click OK. So this is the before, this is the after, this is the before, this is the after. But I just want the effect to be on a skin. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to this layer mask. I'm going to invert this layer mask, control I, meaning to hide the effect. And then I'm going to use the brush to paint back the effect where I want it to be. And then I'm going to choose the brush. And then I'll set the opacity to 100%, the flow to 100%. And then since the layer mask is black, I'll set the foreground color to white. So that when I paint white on a black layer mask, it's going to show us the effect. So let's do that. So I'm just painting on the skin. Okay, so if you want to see more videos from me, please subscribe and smash that bell icon so that when I put up my next video, you will be notified. So this is our before, this is our after, this is our before, this is our after. So if you feel like the effect is too much, just go on the fill and then reduce that fill. So we are done. But we can still do more to this photo to make it stand out. So let's add another adjustment. So let's go to this circle and then let's add curves. So we are going to use this AND to here. We'll select it and then we're going to pick the highlights in this photo. So let's go for this part and then I'm going to drag it up like that. And then I'm going to pick the shadows Let's select the dark part, the shadow part. Let's pick here and then I'll drag it down just to make that escape. So this is our before, this is our after. I can reduce the opacity if I feel like it's too much or if we feel like the highlights are not that much, we can just go back in our curve here and then we can drag this up like this and the shadow part, we can drag it down like that. So this is our before, this is our after. This is our before, this is our after. So let me reduce the, the opacity of the solid color, let's say maybe to 8%. This is our before, this is our after. This is our before, 
is our after. So let's put this adjustment into a group. I'm going to select the curve adjustment, and then I'm going to hold control, and then I'm going to select the solid color adjustment, and then I'm going to hold control plus G on the keyboard. This is how you make that rich, beautiful skin tone. But we can still make this photo stand out more and make it pop more than the way it's looking right now. So we are going to do that using my vintage 2.0 LUT pack. I'm going to go down here and then I'm going to add a color lookup adjustment. And then I'm going to go to load 3D LUT. And then I'm going to look for my LUTs. So I'm going to start with the basic here. So this is the effect that you get. So if you want, if you feel like the effect is too much, you can reduce the opacity to whatever you like. I'm going to go back to my vintage 2.0 LUT pack. Then I'm going to select, let's select Casino. If you feel like the effect is too much, just reduce the opacity. So I'm going to go back to my LUT pack folder. This time I'm going to select Code Draw. So if you feel like the effect is too much, just reduce the opacity. Do what you like. So I'm going to go back to the LUT pack, LUT 3D LUT, and then I'm going to select the pilot. Can reduce the opacity to what I like. I'm going to go back to LUT 3D LUT. Then I'm going to select the signature one. It's the effect that I get. I want to go back to load 3D LUT. Then I'm going to select signature two. So it's the effect that I get. So if you're interested in this LUT pack, the link will be in the description. You can just go there and check it out. So load 3D LUT and then signature two. Go back to load 3D LUT, again signature 3, want to go back to 3D LUT, then I'm going to select signature 4, then I'm going to go back to 3D LUT, then I'm going to select signature 5, then I'm going to go back again, let's try signature 6. Go back again, signature seven, go back again, velvet. So if you feel like the effect is too much, so let me show you, this is our before, this is our after. This is our before, this is our after. So I'm going to go back to 3D LUT, then I'm going to select EK1. So this is our before, this is our after. So before, this so after. To go back to load 3D LUT. This so before, this are after. So we are done with this photo. So this is our second photo that we are going to, to apply the technique on. Let's do the same thing that we did. Let's go back to this circle. Let's add the solid color. We are going to change the blue to one. Green, we'll leave it at 47. And then red, we'll change it to 255. And then we are going to click OK. We are going to go to fill. We'll reduce the fill to 10. And then we are going to go to blending options here. And then we are going to select add light. We don't want the effect in the shadows. So we are going to double click here. And then we are going to go to underlying layer and then we'll drag this triangle this side. Let me put it this side. Drag it this side, 25. You can see the effect is not that smooth here. So we are going to make it smooth. So how we are going to do that, we are going to, to go to this triangle and then we are going to odd out and then we are going to, to break this triangle. This other part of the triangle, we are going to drag it and then we push it this side so that the effect can be smooth. 115 is okay, and then I'm going to click okay. So this is our before, this is our after. So we just want this effect on the skin. So what we are going to do, we are going to go on the layer mask, we are going to invert it. 
control I on the keyboard. And then we are going to select the brush. We'll set the opacity to 100%, flow to 100%. And then since the layer mask is black, we'll set the foreground color to white. And then we'll make the brush a little bit bigger and then we'll paint on the skin where we want the effect to be. So we're just going to paint there. I'm just going to paint there. Where we just want the effect to be. So this is our before. So after. So let's add another adjustment. I'll go to this circle and then I'm going to select curves. I'll use the AND tool here. And then I'm going to select the highlights. Then I'm going to drag it up. And then I'm going to select the shadows. Then I'm going to drag it down. So now let's put these adjustments into a group. I'm going to select the curve. And then I'm going to hold control. And then I'll select the solid color. Let me just drag this up so that we can see what's happening. I'm going to, to hold control plus G on the keyboard. So we can still make this photo stand out more. I'm going to do that using my Melanin Skin Tone Pack. I'm going to go to adjustments here and then I'm going to add color lookup adjustment. And then I'm going to go to load 3D LUT. And then I'm going to go to load 3D LUT. And then I'm going to look for my Melanin Skin Tone Pack. So I'm going to start with Melanin Tone 1. So this is our before, this is our after. So let's go back to color lookup. Let's go to load 3D LUT. Let's select uh, the tone two. So let's go back to load 3D LUT. Let's go for melanin tone three. So our before, so after. Let's go back to 3D LUT and then melanin four. This is our before, this is our after. Let's go back to load 3D LUTs. Let's select Melanin Tone 5. Let's go back to Load 3D LUT. Let's select the Melanin Tone 6. This is our before, this is our after. So let's go back to Load 3D LUTs. Let's select the Melanin Tone 7 Plus. This LUT is too strong. Let me show you. Let's reduce the opacity of this to maybe 10%. So this is our before, this is our after. If you're interested in my Vintage 2.0 LUT pack or in my Melanin LUT pack, or if you're interested in my Retouching Actions pack, these actions, Retouching Actions pack, the links to these will be in the description. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos from me, please subscribe and smash that bell icon so that when I put up my next video, you will be notified. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.